you welcome to Mabuhay Lounge and um, enjoy your flight to Melbourne. Alright, bye bye. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm about to board my flight uh, headed towards Melbourne. If you, as you all know, we have back towards Melbourne this Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So if you are Filipino from Australia, especially from Melbourne, I'm excited to meet you, excited to see you, and I hope that uh, you guys join our very, very first Stock Smarts Melbourne edition. So that, uh, as you are there in Australia, you get to also learn to trade the markets with ease and confidence because that's the part and the goal. While you are working there, while you are living there, while you have the capacity to actually earn you use what you have you use your resources to make your money work hard for you have to remember it's not just about how much you earn actively but it's also about creating a stockpile of assets to make your money work hard for you and that's what's amazing about the stock market it allows you to build assets uh, that you can use to let your money grow while you're in Australia so decided I'm boarding in like 30 minutes or so so what if you're watching this video I'm probably on the air for eight hours and uh, I'm landing there <laughs> early tomorrow so exciting exciting man as promised i'm trying to make as much video content as possible and giving and to give you as much updates uh with regards to what's happening in the market in general so uh the market today no close somewhat exciting uh, we closed at seven thousand eight hundred three uh which is uh, as you all know we broke past the resistance at 7700 i mentioned this in the past videos that uh, because of the bounce from 75 stay above 75 you will challenge the 77 resistance level which is this which is this not which is not as strong as the resistance at 79 so the movement today is evidence of that we broke past 7700 with east with a large uh green candle uh, the value turnover today was around six billion plus which uh, is above the 30-day average it's not where we want it to be we want large breakout sana with very very large value turnovers we want value turnovers from the 7 8 9 10 11 12 billion range when we see large movements upward but uh in a term of a one month duration this six billion plus movement is something that's very very welcome as well however please take note of this uh the thing about this breakout is it's still foreign selling uh, whoever money is coming in the markets already as confirmed by price and volume oscillators that uh, the, the movement that you're seeing seeing up is already composed of people really buying up the stock people really accumulating but those that are accumulating are not foreign investors those who are accumulating are actually uh, locals so it's actually locals bringing the markets up and uh, for the past months it's still uh, for the past month it's still foreign selling sell uh, foreigners have still been selling if you want this because it to be very 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 sustainable we want not just locals buying but we want a combination of locals coming in and also foreigners also uh, positioning in the markets as well so as of this point in time what we what the stats are telling us is this number one we broke out of seven seven now first of all let me bounce from seven five broke out from seven seven while this is happening, some price and volume oscillators are already showing uh, movements upward, meaning there's confirmation from some oscillators that there's a change in direction upward. Please remember this, it's not strong enough yet to destroy the pen. Now, we're still bearish in the grand scheme of things. We're still, uh, sellers are still dominating, but what it tells us now is this. The 75 base is relatively strong, and because of us breaking out of 77, the next target price or the next resistance for the market is the very, very strong 7,900. If you've been following uh, the previous videos that I've made, uh, we haven't really broken out of that area from uh, I think flat, flat since April uh, this year, so from from a midterm perspective. So, what does that mean? Uh, the breakout of 77 will bring us to around 7,900. So now, what does this do to all of us? If you are a person who's following the range of the market uh, watch out for 79 because if we fail to break out of 79 that can be that will trigger also a lot of profit taking for a lot of people not just uh, retail investors but institutional local investors as well please remember this when foreigners are selling then locals are also selling uh, there's no chance for the market to go up when sellers are dominating the market so why am I saying this uh, as it's going up the closer we are to around 7,900 you may expect a level of selling from uh, from both retail and institutional investors from both local and foreign investors as well however 
if it breaks out of 7,900, now there we have a possibility of going towards two uh, of the major resistances, which is 81, which was the very, very long resistance that we uh, we failed to hold. Uh, we failed to, please remember this for this one in the sessions. If the a support does not hold, it becomes a resistance. So that was a strong support, Sana, but we failed to hold uh, from that level. As we failed to hold from that level, that news that previous support is now the new resistance preventing the market from going up. Then the second one is around 8.2. Uh, that's where we have a shroud of a larger moving average is also preventing the market from going up. So why am I saying this? Uh, the movement we have now is for people who would want to just trade the volatility, who would want to trade the range. We don't have any clear reversal signals yet that the market has transitioned from bearish to bullish. What's nice though is that um, the fact that 7,500 uh, held its ground, it shows us that uh, there's a chance that we might not hit 7.2 as of this point in time. We're still bearish, but uh, the 7.5 holding its ground is showing us that there's a chance that we might not progress even lower as well. So there's a possibility that we could reach from 7.5 to 7.9 over the short COVID term, which is uh, quite exciting as well. So this is what I'll do. Over the next few days, I'll, I'll post a lot of stocks also um, as part of your stocks by request that have been moving in part of the index as well. So two things. Uh, position trader, there's no clear reversal yet. We haven't really reversed into something that's going up and bullish yet. But if you're a quick trader, uh, set your sights at 7.9. 7.9 will be our, our resistance level that we need to uh, at least uh, watch out for as there might be a significant level of selling um, if we fail to break out from that level as well. So that's it for now. I'll be in Melbourne, Australia this weekend and when I get back I'll be uh, in Manila for our comprehensive technical and fundamental analysis series. Then after that we have stocks more in Qatar, uh, Hong Kong and also Ililo. So if you're in those areas I really hope to meet you and uh, this is something that I am very very passionate about. It's it's just really educating Filipinos of, of how they can properly invest in the markets. We have 280,000 Filipinos invested already, at, at least online accounts. So, uh, we have 110 Filipinos, 110 million Filipinos. We're barely scratching the surface, and I really believe that there's more. That I, I dream of a day that local investors will dominate the markets, that the foreigners are selling, it doesn't really matter, it really doesn't disturb the markets anymore. We have such a local base, and I, I guess that's my. That's my passion, no? just to find opportunities and ways for, for more Filipinos to take advantage of what we have and that we can use technicals and fundamentals so that we don't really just be this way. The people lose money in the market when they follow their emotions. People lose money in the markets when uh, they, they use uh, either greed or fear or they buy just because uh, a friend told them to buy and you don't have to live your life that way. You can live your life uh, using perfect strat uh, using amazing strategies that are brought about by charts, numbers, and everything else in between. And that's what we've been doing. If you're new to this page, um, like, if you're new to this YouTube channel, subscribe so you get updated on what's going on. And uh, it's just nice to be part of the growing economy that we have as well. Again, it's not perfect. There are a lot of risks that are uh, coming out. No, that's why we need charts because it will always tell us when to come in and when to come out. And it always answers the question that you don't have to be in the market all the time. You only have to be there when customers. So that's it. I'm about to board. I need to edit and upload this video so that you get to see it while I'm in the plane as well. So God bless you all. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Marvin Germo from the EA Terminal to see you again soon.